Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and, and blah, blah, subscribers. It is Friday, the 10th of February 2023. Boing. We are looking at Roblox Gear Mo and Blast Mech. Now, this is semi loose <laughs> because there's no backing card from it, but it is complete. I picked it up not so much for Gear Mo, but for the Blast Mech because I think that could work with my smaller scale figures like my B25, my Fortnite Legendary Micro Series my Archicore, my Star Wars Mission Fleet, etc. Does look pretty cool. Let's get a quick look. Mech appears to have some articulation in the hips, the knees, the uh, shoulders and the biceps. And there's Gimo, who I'm not really interested in. I might give that away to one of my nieces. They like their Roblox, which are pretty cool. Um, little box there, couple of spanners, does look good. Uh, and obviously there's a exclusive virtual item, which will be going to my nieces as well. Very, very cool looking. Can't wait actually to get my hands on this one. It does look pretty cool with that little mech. This is going to be pretty awesome. If you like sort of content and want to see all my videos early as soon as they are made pretty much, then please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen. Now you get free and inclusive entries into our prize draws and raffles, exclusive content, and obviously you get to see everything early as well. Okay, I'll be back in an instant. Okay, here they are. Pretty damn cool. Uh, the mech, mm, yeah, it should work for smaller scale stuff because the front part here is hollowed, so the feet fit, scoop and fit underneath. Pretty cool. Let's get a close look. So, you've got Guillermo here sitting in with the controls. I've got the mech holding the two big spanners as a flag in the back. And what I thought was a box is actually like a backpack or power supply, power plant for this actual mech. On the back there does look pretty damn cool. Now if I take gear mo out, you see you can see that his feet do have lips, so he has to scoop under and in to fit onto the actual mech. Here's a simple figure, not really my cup of tea. Just literally legs forwards and backwards, he can sit down, arms up, and that's and his head can turn, that's it. Well, his hair can turn and his ugh, head can turn too that's pretty much it not really my cup of tea but quite a cute figure nonetheless and then the blast mech we can see here holding two spanners let me zoom out a little bit holding two spanners there it's got that little flag we can take out and the backpack was pretty cool so articulation on this the arms do go all the way around there is a bicep bend ah there we go, which gets well over 90 degrees, but doesn't quite go flat. There is a trunk turn, which is nice. There's nothing on this, turn on the hands? There's nothing on the hands. Legs go forwards and backwards from the hip. There's nothing on the outwards, or is there? Not really. There's a small knee bend, which goes over 90 degrees, and there's nothing on the ankles, which is a shame because you have to get the feet almost the same to get him to stand up flat. Otherwise he's going to want to fall over or he's going to lean over. You know, so if I do that, he's already, he wants to sort of fall over. Whereas if his feet can go flat, he could hold that pose. But it is a decent mech. I do quite like that a lot. I reckon for your smaller scale figures, even your Archicore should fit inside that. In fact, I'm going to grab an Archicore and I'll be right back. And let's see if we can fit one in. To this rather cool looking blast mech so back in the instant okay i'm back so here is gear mo and here is an archicore the archicore i'm oh, going to struggle his legs are too long and the lip on his shoes are far bigger than gear mo, so i don't think he's going to fit inside which is a real shame i also brought out an acid rain world b25 abaddon flame trooper he might have more chance of fitting than the um Archicore possibly. This is 135 scale, this is 128 scale. Yes, it's going to be close. Okay, so I will keep the backpack off and I will try with the Archicore Soldier first. This is the grey one, I just added a bit of paint, some gold and silver and greys to it to uh, make it pop a little bit. So let me just try this and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, neither of them can fit. This guy's just too wide on his legs. Look at that, he won't even fit. In from there you can see he's just too wide to a uh, fit and then this guy is not too wide but he's just too long so it's a real shame because they would have looked pretty damn cool and this is this was painted up now 
Having said that, I'm not too disappointed because I still think it's a great looking uh, little mini mech and I think there's still opportunities for this as well. Um, you can get like um, like a toy cat from like the claw grab from <laughs> Roblox to sit inside and drive this around. Also Kit from Fortnite had a little mech. He could probably sit in this and drive this little mech around too. And it will work in some universes. You could make it work for small universes if you want to put a bit of work into cutting it. And also remember the Archicore do have some humanoid figures that aren't armoured being a preview. If they come out they could fit into this too. A nice, make a nice little maintenance mech to work on your your fingers there. I do like this a lot. Really do like it a lot. Just wish I could fit other figures inside, which is a shame. But it's still a very nice looking mech, and I think they've done a pretty damn good job in this. Okay, this is awesome. Match toy signing out, saying please like, share, subscribe. Consider joining the Patreon link in the video description below, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.